Oh my god, this is my first look in person of the iPhone 15 Pro Max in the natural titanium color. Alright, today we have got a pretty exciting day. We're gonna go pick up the new iPhone, we're also gonna go to a park, we're also gonna go to a new shopping mall that just opened a new cinema complex. No, I'm just kidding, let's just get straight to the point. Yeah, this ain't no vlog style, we're getting straight to the point here and showing you the new phone. We just came from my local JB Hi-Fi, my local Superstore place. And now we're here, sat, parked in the side of the road. Excuse me if the sun's too... I kind of had to uh, record this at close to night, so right now it's like sunset. So, apologies if it's too dark, but yeah, this is basically my local... What do you call it? My local football playing place. Um... Yeah. So yeah, we got the new iPhone in the natural titanium color, 516 gigabytes. <clears throat> We're gonna unbox this. I've got a few cases. I've got a screen protector to put on, and I'm just gonna talk about it. All right. I'm literally just gonna go straight to the point in unboxing this. I will admit though, okay, this isn't really like a tech review. This isn't really a, what do you call it? <clears throat> A unboxing experience video this is just a first look all right now the iPhone unboxing experience is also always very good Apple products are always very good but uh, it's kind of thinner like it's not that good anymore because they have all re removed the uh, charging dock thing so that's unfortunate but yeah oh my god this is my first look in person of the iPhone 15 Pro Max in the natural titanium color and Hopefully you guys can see it. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. I might overlay with some other um, Clips that I have but oh my god In person Wow So right off the bat if you guys um, Didn't know it is still a fingerprint magnet I mean, not a magnet. You still get fingerprints on the titanium uh, casing of it, or what do you call it, if this would focus. Like, if I put it something there, can you guys see it? I don't know. But you still can see it. It's definitely way less. I actually have my iPhone 14 Pro Max that I accidentally uh, smashed uh, because I had no case on it. That's why you should always put a case on it when you're outside. But yeah, and I don't know if you can tell... I didn't take too good care of this phone, but um, I don't know if you can tell. It's a bit dark, right? <clears throat> but definitely a lot more fingerprints, and it looks a lot more uglier, I guess. What else do we have in the packet? Oh, a braided USB-C Thunderbolt 3 cable. Uh, and you have some pamphlets, Apple stickers, stuff. You chuck it to the side. That's it. So, a little fortunate on that end, but yeah, the phone itself... I can tell you already, uh, uh, comparing it to the last gen, it's, it's a lot better. Like, it is a lot better feeling in the hand. Feels a lot uh, lighter. Definitely does. The rounded corners also are actually very, um, they feel very nice as well. Like, compared to the hard edges of the previous generation. And it is overall, I don't know if you can tell, but it's overall... Yeah, you definitely can't tell, but in person, it's overall smaller as well because the bezels are smaller. So that's nice, but here, before I lift this and put the screen protector on, I am just going to show you what I got. So it's a Spigen Glass TR Easy Fit, and from my experience through the last three generations of iPhones, or the iPhones I have currently, I guess, it's the best, it is the best screen protector, at least from my experience, because... It's cheap. I mean, this, along with the case that I have, which is like a speckled kind of clear case, was only 50 bucks AUD, which is pretty cheap. Nowadays, you get cases for like 80 bucks. I also uh, purchased the fine woven case, and my opinion on that case, well, I'll show you later in this video, I guess. Let's just put this on and transfer everything before the sun goes down. Oh, this is new. 
they have a bubble kind of thing. I've never seen this. This is a new thing. They didn't include this in the last generation, but it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm just going to do it because this isn't a showing you, this is showing you the phone. This isn't a showing you as accessories. It's basically as the title suggests. First look. There's a lot of dust in this car though. That's the problem. <laughs> but here we go. It's not going to look as clean as that anymore. There's already dust on it. I'm a professional. Do not attempt this at home. And there you go. You just pop it on like that. Press the center and then squeeze. Wait 30 seconds. While we, while we look at this glamorous. Okay, so there are a few colors, right? There's the blue titanium, there's the white titanium, there's the black titanium, and there's the natural titanium. Now, the natural one is definitely the most popular one. Um, I don't know if it's the most limited or not, but it definitely felt like the most popular one because it got sold out instantly. I remember I was at work, right? And basically, uh, I, I didn't expect it to get sold out that quickly because I thought this year's upgrade wasn't as substantial as last year's upgrade compared to the previous generation. I don't know why. I think it's because Dynamic Island was new. Uh, and it's, it's like new. It's something special, right? It's something different. Finally, we've had the notch for so many generations. Finally, we had Dynamic Island. But this year's is actually a big upgrade. And some might argue, yes, it's still an S upgrade. On paper, it's or like you know, when you think about it, yeah, sure, it might be an S upgrade, but it's actually much more than that. First of all, they've shrunken the bezels. Apparently, this is the smallest bezels you can get in an iPhone. The bezels, while on camera, doesn't actually look that substantial, and it really isn't once you're used to it, especially once you've put a case on it. It still feels much better and looks better, and the old iPhone 14 Pro Max bezels look very outdated and chunky and blocky now so this updated design is definitely way better they've also made the um the footprint of the phone smaller because of that but also because usb-c uh uh new more better cameras i guess that's a small upgrade but usb-c is the major one as well as the new titanium frame but anyway time to get this bad boy off i forgot how you do it actually <laughs> uh Oh, here we go. There's a tab here. Oh, just like that. Oh, wow. This time it's different. So this plastic thing should have came off with it. But instead, it just takes it off like that. Instantly. I think I did it wrong. But oh my god. Okay, there's still a bubble here and there. That's fine though. We can just hopefully use this to get it off. The screen protector is smaller than last year because now... If you look very closely, there's actually like a um, curve at the screen. So you had to shrink the screen protector a little bit. But let's open this bitch up. Ooh. You know, a part of me wish that this year's iPhone would have like a volume rocker that's like not two, but like a single one. Kind of like they did with the Samsung, just to make it somewhat different, but they didn't. Which I guess the reason why is because they wanted it to be um, iconic to the iPhones. And a lot of people are like to me, okay? A lot of people are like, they're like, oh, there's no there's no design up, updates, updates. It's just, it's just the same phone. But I mean, if you were to upgrade the iPhone design-wise, how would you do it? It, the, the iPhone now is so iconic, right, with the notch that it has, with the dynamic island, which is like a, the next generation of notch in a way, and also the, the camera cutout as well, and everything. It's just so iconic. How would you change it? Why would you change it? If it's not broke, don't fix it. All right, while we're waiting for the software to download to get the old phone to my new phone, let me just talk a bit about it more. So what was I saying? Okay, the colors. Now, this, as you see, is natural titanium, and it looks and feels very nice in hand. Um, it just, the curves, while not substantial, it still feels amazing. It's crazy how such a small difference can make a phone feel so much different. 
and it's crazy because this one has no edges as well and for the color choice like i said there's four different colors i went with natural pre-orders opened up at 10 p.m and i got off work at 12. i didn't expect it to get all sold out but it did and if I wasn't at work, I would have pre-ordered. I would have 100% got it from the Apple store. But as you saw, I got it from JB Hi-Fi because they still had some stock left over. But I had to get the 512 GB one, like I said at the beginning. And I would um, I would have been happy with the 256 GB. It's still, I think it was around $50 more expensive than the 256 GB of last year. I checked around about then. Um, but that is the only option i guess the only last option uh there's no 100 and uh what was it 126 i can't remember but something like that and i would have been fine because with this phone this is 150 100 and whatever gb the lowest spec one and i only found myself using 80 gigs now that is only because i also use icloud and i was able to somehow get a lot of my uh, photos on there so that it would save a lot if I didn't have iCloud the expanded storage of the iCloud option and that's the only reason why I got it for five dollars a month to get that because I got the low respect option <laughs> so 256 would have been nice but they didn't have it and I wanted it that day one and I looked through the options and for me it was between the blue or this one and personally the blue one it just I was sick. I was getting sick of a dark phone, okay? I mean, the black one, pretty... Every year, I like variety. Every year, I want something different. And to me, this year's one actually does feel like a bigger upgrade than last year. Even though it kind of feels like the same. I still wanted to get it anyway. <laughs> because, look, it's up to you how you want to spend your money. But for me, I have the money to spend on a new phone every year because I don't really spend money on anything else anyway and I have a job so it's up to you guys right and I'm a tech nerd I like to have the latest and greatest and I'm in the Apple ecosystem with the AirPods and everything but anyway yeah it was between the blue but I looked at the purple and while the purple from last year was sick right the purple does look cool in a lot of lighting conditions it just looks gray or like kind of graphite and in some lighting instances the stainless steel sides look gray like the natural like it's it's weird it's a combination of different things but i was like i was sick of a dark color let's go the natural let's go a lighter color and that's how i did it with the iphone 13 pro <laughs> i got a white uh, i got a silver iphone 13 pro and the year before that i got an iphone 8 which was black so black silver purple natural next year i'm probably gonna go a darker color as well it's just every year i want something different because i've been having the same phone and it you know but uh oh, blue is my favorite color i'm not gonna lie and I, I was thinking of getting the blue actually but then i was like if i get the blue people are gonna think it's the iphone 12 because that that got a blue too i wonder why they didn't make the red one or the brownish red one that would have been cool so yeah in the end just went for the natural and i gotta say made a good choice in different lighting conditions it looks like the starlight it looks very classy and yeah very nice in general and in other it's like a gray so definitely like this one but yeah last thing i gotta do is show you the case i got and talk about cases now i actually got the fine woven case i'm gonna head to the apple store now to get it um unfortunately i wasn't able to do anything there but like in general a lot of people said it scratches easily and through the early reviews it looks like people said it's very it looks very cheap and it feels very cheap and the longevity of it definitely not as good as like the leather case and it's just very cheap in general scratches easily i'm still gonna get it though because the taupe the taupe colorway looks very nice and fits natural phone very nicely in my opinion and you got to see, because in person, it might be different. But look, if that's the case, then, you know, damn Apple. But I mean, personally, I was never really a fan of Apple's clear cases. Um, and also the silicon cases, while they look and feel nice, over time, in, when you, they've been in your pocket for so long, it just collects all sorts of dust and lint and just does not look good at all. 
And the leather one, I'm not a huge fan of patina. Le like, I'm not a huge fan of worn leather look either. So, I've had both those cases um, throughout the years. But I've always tended to neglect them for more third-party cases. Uh, like Spigen and... Yeah, just other cases, basically, you find off Amazon and stuff like that. Uh, but we'll see with the final river case how that holds. Alright, so, I've been using the iPhone 15 Pro Max for a while now, and I managed to get the fine woven case. The funny thing is, when I was going to the Apple store that day to get it, there was a huge line just waiting, and I think it was like 6pm, so it was just after people had got off for work or something, but the line was still huge until 9pm when the store was going to close. Regardless, I got it and I'm so glad I did because so far, after like one day, this has not disappointed. Disappointed. Here's the thing, a lot of people were saying how this was cheap in the early reviews. It actually doesn't really feel that cheap. Like it feels like a suede-like material. Not that I really know what that feels like because I'm not really high class. I don't own many suede-like stuff, but it does actually feel pretty nice and the sides they aren't really rubber even though they might look like it it's still kind of like a fine woven design and you can kind of feel it because if you run your finger alongside it it still feels like it's finely woven like beat pieces of thin woven thing and you can still feel it just like on the back it might not be as much but you can still feel it so this is just after a day of use. Um, I do know that this scratches easily from early testings if you run your fingernail, but if you care for it, I mean, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but over time, it might not turn out to be that good. We'll just have to see. It also has these nice aluminum buttons that make it feel as premium as the leather cases. I don't know if it feels as premium as the leather cases, but I was never really a fan of the leather cases anyway. And but either way, I still think this is better than a lot of early reviewers were saying it was. This is the Sparkle Clear Case from Spigen. And I've had their clear case from last year as well. But um, what I found is that it does yellow over time, sure. But with the natural colorway, you're going to notice it less. And the sparkles are gold on this one too. So it fits really nicely. Ooh. That is nice. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully the camera is good and decent and you can see. It looks really nice. Also the action button, even though I kind of do miss the mute switch, even though I don't really use it that much, um, but having that option to switch it is so convenient. This one, it, I feel like it's harder to press, but the bot button is actually nice. Because now I can just use it just it's very simple whip out the flashlight or whatever and yeah it's actually really nice and the button feels different compared to the other buttons it's much sturdier and stronger feeling and there's still haptic feedback whenever you use it which is nice it's a welcome change I never knew I needed and I never knew was as good as it is Look, I'm not a, I'm not a tech, I'm not telling you all the new features about the iPhone, I'm just gonna get a, I'm just giving you a brief kind of overview of it, but mainly just showing you what it looks like in person, and I gotta say in person, it looks quite very much more similar than you see in images and pictures, but it definitely does look a lot better in hand. Not gonna lie, even though it does look very similar to images you see on YouTube and videos and such, in person, it's got more of a champagne look, less of a gray look. Um, obviously, in certain lightings, it's gonna be different, but in person, but it's not just the look. You're gonna notice mostly, compared to last year's phone and the phone bef year before that, you're gonna notice immediately how much more compact it feels because of these edge, slightly contoured edges and the weight. Like you can legit, that's the thing that pops out and stands out for me. And overall, it just, if you have no case on this, if you're a guy who doesn't rock a case on these phones, this phone is just gonna feel so much better in the hand. This one feels like a brick 
in comparison to the new one. But overall, just a very small update, technically. I mean, it's not that substantial of an upgrade, I guess. Um, but still is a major step up from last year's compared to the, you know, 14 compared to the 13, because the only change was the dynamic island. Uh, still much better. And pretty happy with it, so, yeah. But yeah, it's been your boy, Julian Veloso. Make sure to check out my Instagram. Make sure to, um, hopefully this video came out clear. Make sure to hit me up on my main YouTube channel, at Julian Veloso underscore, where I do movie reviews and the such. That's my main channel. But yeah, I'm just, I thought I'd throw out this kind of video, <clears throat> just for myself mainly. But yeah, stay tuned for other videos on my main channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.